great ingredients served with flair. A perfect combination like you and Pick and Pay. Good morning. Welcome to Kids Cooking here with Zola, Kat, Dan and I'm Leah. Wait, wait, wait. I've got this really cool joke, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Mom, mommy Tomato and Baby Tomato are walking down the street. Mommy Tomato turns around and steps on Baby Tomato and says, Catch up! Oh, <laughs> no way, <laughs> man! That's so cheesy! <laughs> Oh, Wait till you see the next dish we're cooking. <laughs> oh, so what are we making today, Zola? We're making cheesy tomatoes. Oh my word! It's gonna be the best day of my life. Okay. So wait, wait. Before we get into it, guys, I've, I've got to take you guys through a quick cheese test. Okay. So, what's this cheese? Feta. Feta. Yeah. Um, it's mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella. That's right. And this last um, one? Standard. No. Cheese. Um, I know the one. Normal cheese. Cheddar. 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 <laughs> And those are three cheeses. So uh, what are we going to do for this dish, sir? But there's a fourth cheese, Kat. Oh, there's a fourth cheese. I thought this cheese was coming out of there. So what is this? It's a... Cottage cheese. Cottage. A cottage, cottage, cottage cheese. cheese. So okay, cool. It's got a cottage So is it, is, it, is it okay to start cheesing out now? Let's start cheesing. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do? Okay, so you, you guys are going to mix the cheeses into the bowls with the garlic and a, about a tablespoonful of cottage cheese and then season. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, I'm going to cut the tops of the tomatoes because you guys are going to scoop it out. So start mixing the cheeses. Yeah. Go right what ahead. What was the hottest team in the, let in your the soccer world cup? Exactly, let, when working with knives. Oh, well, I'm almost about to put it in what wow. was the hottest team in the Soccer World Cup? What was the hottest team in the Soccer World Cup? Okay, uh, I'm waiting for this one. Okay. What? Chile. Oh! oh! You're on fire, Dad! <laughs> okay, that was slightly less cheesy. Should I, like, do this? Can I just leave that? Can I just, like, yeah, crumble it, crumble it a little, you're right. Luckily, you guys have washed your hands, so you can have yeah. it. Yeah. Yes? Always wash your hands. There we go, there we go. So, Zola, what are you doing there? I've just cut the tops off the tomatoes, as yes. you can see, because we're going to stuff them. Okay. So once those guys are finished um, making the cheesy mixture... Oh, well, that doesn't seem... Kat, maybe you season. Season oh. it so long. I will season. Here we go. Can I get some yeah. pepper? Should we, like, add yeah. cottage mm -hmm. cheese? Mm -hmm. Pop a tablespoon, a tablespoon of cottage mm -hmm. cheese in there. That's right. Okay, give it a mix with the garlic. Dan, you Salt. take a tablespoon of with cottage cheese. A tablespoon, that's it. That's oh, not sorry, it. Kat. No, no, sorry. that's a tablespoon. All right, what? Wrong screen. <laughs> So, Zoe, so, yes. would you enough. possibly... A little more. Okay, would I? Yes, Kat. Use less salt because cheese more. is already salty. Exactly. Especially feta cheese is very salty. Mm. And strong cheddar is also quite salty. So just tread carefully. You can taste it because it's all... I mean, cheese is edible as it is. So yes. Use it. So now I'm guessing we should have pulled that. Pop now, the garlic in. Feta cheese is the best. The one in like the tube with the water in it. Whichever you prefer. Some people don't like the brine because it's yeah. wet and messy. Mm. But, I mean, feta cheese is... Cheese. Danish feta cheese is the best. But okay. okay, good mixing. Okay, guys, now you're going to take your little scoops. These are measuring scoops that we're Please. using. Mm -hmm. And you're going to scoop out the inside of the tomato. So pass the tomato along. Each tomato. Pass the tomato along. Tomato. And we put the tomato in here. No, you put it into the bowl and we save the, the innards for like bolognese. You know when you use tomato oh, bolognese? Yes. How many scoops? Oh, look, are he's, he's <laughs> juicing all over the. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> How many scoops? So take all the filling out because you want to make uh, well, you want to uh, make space for your cheesy. No, no Daniel. <laughs> what, what did You're he do? You're supposed to hold out the inside into that dish, <laughs> not this one. What? <laughs> yeah, really. So take <laughs> take this and put that in there. Yeah. There you go. We're so making you can take a it hole out. for. Our... Use your fingers. Uh, my... oh, never mind. <laughs> so but... kids at home, when you are hollowing out your tomatoes. Uh, try not to destroy them. <laughs> You'll try. <laughs> okay. But you want to, I mean, you can leave some Ooh, tomato I in there. The ball. <laughs> but you want to hollow it enough so you can get as much of that cheesy mixture in there. Oh, yes. Okay, yes. okay that looks good, though, guys. Okay, guys. Okay. Well, no, no, I've got this random piece so sitting in there. Stuff your tomato with the cheesy mixture. There we go. Get right in there. With this. With oh, that. You should use your hands. Use your hands. Your hands are clean, aren't they? Yep. yep. They are. Oh, there and we go. And juicy because it's <laughs> Getting <laughs> involved. There you go. <laughs> so yeah, like Leah's doing, stuff it, stuff it in, because cheese melts, so you don't want like a flat filling. You of want course. it to still be. So you can actually create your own little mount cheese. Exactly, exactly. And it'll melt over and. And deliciousness mm. all around. Yeah, <laughs> deliciousness all around. Okay, I like full, that. full mine as well it's while like you add it. So pop yours in there. Use some of Dan's, I think we'll okay. top, top that up a bit. Okay, Dan, pop yours in there. Is that enough? Cat, you pop those right. into that top oven at um, 
200 degrees. Yes. Oh, Guys, wash, wash your hands. Your hands. Yes. In the top oven, you say? In the top oven. I'll get the ones that are ready out. Chewy. I can't. Let so me. I'll need you to pop those I'll out do first. That, yes. <laughs> and the only reason, kids, that I'm not using any oven mitts is because my little dish is still cold. There we go. There we go. And when they come out the oven, Oh, those look, look like so good. So. Oh, awesome. They look fantastic. Wow. Okay, come on are now. You, are we going to taste, guys? You know what's going to happen. Yes. You know what's about to happen. Can you pop those in the back there? Yes. Can you get something? Okay, so I've got a surprise for you. Uh-oh. Okay. Stay there. I'm afraid. Daniel Stay has a surprise. Oh, my word. I hope it's not another joke, because <laughs> we've had enough cheesy jokes for the day, haven't we, guys? Does anyone know it? Now put that plate down. Uh-oh. Okay, I brought my pet to, to the cooking today. Right? Oh. This is my pet. Oh! <laughs> Dude, come on, man. Come on, man. Daniel! Oh. That's crazy. <laughs> That's a cool <laughs> joke, Daniel. <laughs> that thing is so real looking. Oh, yeah. oh, wow. My dad did it to my mom and she was like the whole night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so okay. can we get back to tasting our tomatoes yeah, now, please? Now we've composed ourselves. Okay, all right. Okay, I, so need a, I need a fork, Zoda. Okay, wait, I'm going to cut you some here. <laughs> Guys, you start tasting and right I'm going to give okay, cool. Kat a tasting can portion. I like, Do I like cut it open? Yeah, cut it nice. open. And see now, get this some is tomato. the one thing. I feel comfortable with my fork in my left hand. But that's, that's all right, that's, that's the etiquette. Some yeah. people I like theirs in their right hands. I thought, no, wait. We, this I, is the right way, right? That's, yes. a, that's a big piece. Yeah. Okay. This? Sorry, I thought that was the so wrong way. I was busy okay, thinking, like, I'll a lot of people hold it wrong. And I was like, oh, no. This one. So, yeah, so the tomato intensifies. It's cheesy. It's goodness. Mm. But I love how each of the textures of the cheese mm. are there. Yeah. Mm. 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 Can you put in more feta? You like can. As much as you can put more cheddar, more feta. Oh. Whatever your preference is. Dan, what do we think? I wish we had made more. Oh, look, there's more. Mm. Kat, must, do you want another bite? Yes, there's please, more? I'd like one. Yes. Since Thank they're, you. they're going on. They are kind of like going you on. You might as well, too. Brilliant. Mm. Oh, thank you so much, Zola. Sure. Thank you very much. One more bite for me. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does your snake want some? I was really thinking that now, and I thought maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that he thing there. I'm not sharing, no way. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, no. So listen to this one. I've been working on this one for like quite a while. Okay, let's hear it. Gotta focus with me. Okay. So, what do you call cheese that is not yours? Um, Nacho cheese! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I said it. Yes, I said it. Tell it to your friends at school because it's cool. No, it really isn't. <laughs> 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 That's good though. Okay. <laughs> See you Not next time, cheese. guys. Bye. Stay with Espresso and SABC3.